everybody. Just out here enjoying another hot day. Thinking about getting a nice cold drink. And, uh, thinking, you know, should put some ice in my drink, right? Get it good and cold. You know. Yeah, I bet everybody likes to do that, right? You like to put ice in your drinks, right? It makes sense. You know, a hot day, pour yourself a Coke or something, throw some ice cubes in it. Kick it back, a nice cold drink on a hot day. It's always a great idea. Now, some of you are like, you know, the best thing for a hot day is a nice ice cold glass of water. And uh, that's about one of the stupidest things that y'all could do. Uh, something about water that I know of, what I've been taught, is that you're supposed to have the equivalent of eight glasses of eight ounces of water in a day. And they actually word it that way, the equivalent of. So you can look at everything else that has water. And if you want to get down to the nitty and gritty of it, you know, rocks have water in it. You know, everything has water in it. Now to ingest the equivalent of that much you know I would think you know fruits vegetables you know plants you know they have water in it also you know we're 80 percent water whatever 80 plus whatever they keep on changing that you know I'm saying statistics but you can get your water from other places than water you know it's Sprite is what I choose you know I'm not Sprite brand I don't go Pepsi brand because Pepsi is all about putting cancer inside your drinks and so is Coca-Cola Dr. Pepper 7 up all right so just to let y'all know mug root beer and everybody else they, they put their poisons in it still um, I use Publix we got a store here called Publix and they have a generic brand of Sprite and in their preservative they actually utilize baking soda which I think is less harmful than some of the other things they put inside the drinks and the water and um, some of my favorite ingredients that they put in the water is um, you know fluoride of course that's a great one I'm over here looking at a list of them I got and uh, I personally am allergic to chlorine alright so I can't go swimming in public pools and all that because the chlorine makes me break out and uh, take a shower, you know, if I take a sh shower for like 15 plus minutes, then the chlorine affects me also. So I stay away from chlorine. Now, I don't know how many of y'all like to eat copper, but we got copper in here. We also got organic carbon. Uh, turbity? I don't know what the hell that is. Alpha emitters. Nitrates as nitrogen, so, you know, you got your piss and whatnot. Man, y'all, I can't even, I can't even ex pronounce all these words. But here's one that I like that's in the water. It's called chloroform. Chloroform. Okay. Let's, let's let me see if I can let y'all see these. This nice little pretty list of ingredients. Hmm. There we go. We're getting some better focus. You see chloroform right there in the center? And you see all those no's? All those no's, that means that it's not in a violation. You know what I'm saying? It's not a violation. And yet, level detected right next to it, you see that each and every single one of those things has a level that has been detected. Parts per million, parts per liter, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's still fucking in there, okay, y'all? Now, this that I'm holding... Is something that Huntsville Utilities passes out to us every year, and uh, it mailed to my house. Or, yeah, I guess y'all just cut my address, didn't you? <laughs> so got doxed again. But yeah, this right here is what my utility sends to us all the time, all the time. You know, I say all the time. Every year we get one of these, and I read it. And they got another huge list of more ingredients. And then another list of what they call contaminants, right? So, see the hardness as CaCO3, uh, sodium, they got sulfates, they got dissolved solids, 
and that's just crazy. Now next to the fluoride, it says, Erosion of natural deposits, water additive which promotes strong teeth, and discharge from factories. And then other stuff they have, naturally occurring in the environment or from industrial discharge or agricultural runoff. And that's on the chloroform and bromide, chloride, methylene, and whatever the hell these other ones are. Yeah, I ain't even going to try to fucking show how ignorant I am trying to pronounce all these things. Uh, I ain't got that figured out. But they show that uh, we have lead, copper, microbiology, the, the microbio see biological microbiological contaminants nitri nitrates and here's here's what I really like radioactive contaminants okay and they're nice enough to tell us about it synthetic organic contaminants okay it's synthetic organic contaminants okay y'all look at that okay that alone y'all need to research just by itself synthetic organic contaminants volatile organic contaminants and disinfection byproducts now y'all can go ahead and type this fucker out c y p t o s p o r d i u m sounds fucking bad water water everywhere but not a drop to drink now right over here they have a good list of uh individual contaminants and I'll just go across some of them and I'll just pronounce all the ones that I can pronounce okay now total chloroform bacteria is that is just greater than 5% and that was present when they did their testing um, fecal chloroform and E. coli was at a zero so that's pretty good now, everything else on here was found. Now, we got beta photon emitters, alpha emitters, combined uranium, and uranium. Okay, now this is in our water. Now, I really hope that y'all can focus in on this shit because it's really sick. Um, that, that, that's, that's insane. That's insane. They got exactly how much they found in it, and they found 30 parts, and that's MCL. So, y'all can do all this research, find out what MCL means, right? I didn't do it, I just stayed away from water. Now, let's go to the inorganic chemicals. Inorganic chemicals. Antimony. Ah, fucking A. A N T I M O N Y. Then we have, and that's at six. Arsenic at 10, asbestos at 7, barium at 2, beryllium at 4, cadmium at 5, chromium at 100, copper at AL equals sign 1.3, whatever that means, uh, fluoride at 4, lead at AL equals sign 15, mercury at 2, nitrate at 10, uh, endothal at 100, endodrin at 2, um, shit tons of stuff I can't pronounce, and it keeps going and going, benzene at 5, carbon tetrahydrochloride at 5, and let's see, nitrates are at 1, total nitrates and nitrates, yeah, they misworded that one. Is it 10? Sel selenium is at 50. Thallium is at 2. And that's your list of inorganic chemicals that are inside your drinking water, inside your ice cubes, inside the stuff that you're cooking your food in. Okay, you're giving this to your children, you're giving this to your family, you're giving this to yourself, and you're allowing them to constantly give it to you. And you just let it happen. So, organic contaminants, Jesus, I can't even pronounce half of them, there's no way. I don't know, D-A-L-A-P-O-N, is that 200?
Um, man, y'all. See, this is insane. Chlorine dioxide is at 800. Vinyl chloride is at 2. See, I ain't gonna... Bromate's at 10. I can't even begin to pronounce all this shit, y'all. I can't even begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we got 4 radioactive contaminants in the water. Uh, bacteriological contaminants, there's three. Inorganic chemicals, we're at, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We're at 62 inorganic chemicals. Now, organic contaminants, we're at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 47. We're at 47 organic contaminants. Now, then they have a nice list down here at the bottom. It's called unregulated contaminants. Alright? Unregulated. Okay? Y'all ain't gotta research that shit. Y'all know what that means. That means they don't regulate it. That means that this list of crap that cannot be pronounced by me is all fucking un fucking regulated. Okay, this is extra shit they put in your water. I don't know. So, you know, it's a nice hot day. You know, I want to sit back and get myself a nice glass of water. So, I have to get the ice that I have made. My distilled water. That has been filtered and filtered and boiled and filtered and then frozen. Because I'm not going to give this shit to my kids. So, I just want to let y'all know that the water is not safe. The term is correct. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. So just think about that shit, y'all. Yeah, it's it's not good. Yeah, I just figured I'd let y'all know my little bit about that. Y'all have a good one.